or all has participant definitely they would be the beneficial end of the day so hand reference is here now what a problem here dear this grid is making little irritation right here so what we can do here you can see post panel this is a grid view you can switch off the grid fine so grid is on now let's create a polygon primitive cylinder from here also you can create a cylinder or directly you can go to the poly modeling and from here also you can create a cylinder so now cylinder is ready now hope if you have properly went through the basic classes uh let space bar do come to the perspective view this number of edges what is playing a really very vital role during the time of rendering either it's a rendering real time or rendering in a post production mode so we should be decrease the number of vertex because how many number of vertex is a higher handling the vertex is a tough. so let us scroll down from here come to the input mode right where i'm going into the layer poly cylinder select this input node poly cylinder and here subdivision axis is what 20 let's decrease to the 12 or let's keep it 8 only even in 8 you can able to see some rounded kind of surface is coming right post that what i am doing here there is a cap let's delete the cap value to zero so now value is zero so now using this cylinder i am going to create entire palm now definitely whoever had not maybe done practice well this is a like a magic kind of thing for them but don't worry dear i can assure i have not believe on all of you post over of this session you may all able to create this thing right so now let's come to up view let us scroll down always i am preferring go ahead with two view right we can scroll down here so this is your working view this is your perspective view so here you may able to see how the things is going on result this is a working place so let's rotate it so for rotation either we can go ahead or you can use the e button so e button you can go for rotation so now but here you can able to see irregular directions it's a rotating so here it's side you can able to see the values also right so either you can use the j button so j means what a snap rotation and one direction i'm only rotating so what happening now rotate x is rotated into the 90 or the same thing what you can do you can check this direction is what x so put the value 90 here so for the same thing several options can be here it up to you how the things can be proceeded fine now let us scale it and let mask the size maybe i'm starting with the index finger scroll in Fine. Now, what a problem here, dear? We are not able to see the reference. So, for that, what we can do in a shading, we can use the X-ray mode, right? So, I do believe even into the pre-recorded lecture, also same methodology may have followed. While that is the Maya 2017 or 18 or 2020 version, if I'm not wrong, but here we are working into the 2024 version, right? So, tools and concept are always same, like I have started you earlier also. The graphical user interface can be little change, right? So now the finger model is here. Now here you can able to see the finger should be bent from the particular the joints, right? So we need to add the segments here. So even what I'm doing here, I'm coming to the front view, how you can go to the face mode, right click, go to the face mode. Delete the front, delete the back. Now this is a hole, you can able to see here, this is a hole. Anyway. Now go again to the object mode. Now, wherever we require cut, we are adding the cut. For adding the cut, what we have to do? Just a minute, some spam call is coming. Here we can go to the mess. Sometimes what happened na, into the newer version, maybe they had to change the menu from this mess to edit mess or edit mess to mess tool. So you may be able to find in which column the options is there. That you have to clearly understand. Right. So Sorry. Here I'm going to use the as loop tool first, right? So here we can able to see the as loop tool where let's check out in a mesh tool, we having the as loop tool. So what the use of as loop tool? They are creating the as into the circular in a loop. So here I'm adding first one cut here, second cut here. And this is required to be the rotate, right? So for that, what we can do, 
additionally three edges we can put here right so again mesh tool insert is look tool so for folding fine so now our model like this let's switch off the grid from here also now go to the vertex mode right click and vertex mode come to the w for move now let's reposition your vertex fine so the positioning is now here okay now the problem is what end of the day definitely this should be not like open from front right so for that part we can do go to the edge here either you can manually select all the edges or what you can do you can select on one and double click there so entire loop is going to be selected like here you can able to see this all highlighted now for that you can extrude here extrude options let's check out where is the extrude option mess extrude so this is the only little difference you not need to change because i had a used older version and uh, right now here you can able to see the menu has been little change so after extruding let's use the r for a scale scale it now from top view what should be there it should become little front now again scale it extrude and scale miss extrude and r for scale now while if i am willing to fill the hole what you can do there shift and right click shift and right click or you can go to the mess check somewhere you may able to see the merge option mesh display mesh you check somewhere definitely the merge option would be there bevel tool flip uh, weld target weld or how using the hotkey that things can be done that i am showing to you simply what you have to do shift and right click here now here option merge and collapse is coming and post that merge to the center right again i'm doing the same select the edges shift button right click you will get the option merge collapse roll over the mouse over there and merge is to the center so now this is merged my problem is what like in my recorded classes i had stated you we should never follow the triangular usually so how this triangular can be converted to the quad shift and right click go to the edge like now see which is the top view this is the top view edge center so i'm deleting this wala edge select and delete select and delete select and delete select and delete so here you can able to see this is quad one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four that's why we had to choose in the eight number of edges right so end of the day we can make this one area also a quad so now this is ready for a smooth preview, what you can do there, you can hit the three button. Right? So for three for a smooth, again, if you come coming to back one, one and three, vice versa, toggle button. Right? One and three. So again, I'm going to one. Now here you can able to see the nail shape. Actually, I should take the top view rather than the bottom view. Uh, but okay. if, who is here? Fine. So meanwhile, definitely all we can able to see our line fingers nail. So this should be like this shape here. You can able to see. Sorry, here. Right. So for that, what I'm doing here, dear. Again, I'm going to add the edge loop here. Now here we can able to see the nail can be this area and in between one more edge now go to the face face down delete this top area this four you delete now hit the three you can able to see this is the nail portion now as i had a set only the top view always never your finger like a flat from bottom you can see there is a sloping right so for maintaining the sloping what we can do 
we can come to the side view here dear zoom in right click vertex so now you can able to see the shape has been now deformed and changed right so this manner you can work with the poly modeling techniques now again coming to this view let us scroll down and now what i am doing here let's little make the shape of the nail using the displacement of the vertex now again i'm going to the edge double click for selecting the edge loop now extrude again here is also shortcut for extrude right or using the menu also you can extrude now i'm using the r for scale put w for up r for scale keep one edge here g for last command repeat r for scale and again shift and right click merge collapse merge to center now the nail shape has been disturbed here dear so again go to the edge in between one one edge i am removing to make the part surface fine so now let's see the shape using the three so now the shape is looking like like this right again put the one now manually you have to play with the vertex edge so what happening here you can able to see this skin area later going to the downwards right so let's select the vertex manually dear shift down put inside now here front view all three i'm selecting put it up now go to the object mode hit the three so the nail shape is ready for all of you fine insert edge loop tool we can add for the supportive segment now object mode let it three but here you can able to see this deformation is unusual so for that what you have to do you have to just remove this area and you have to manually play with the vertex edge sorry W for move. Let make the space little. If your vertexes are closer, they will not give us the proper smooth result. Now see. Now here you can able to see really very sharp details are coming. So for that again, double click. Let's move it. Fine. So now again come to the vertex. So this manner thing can be done. Now from top view also again one edge loop tool is required to prevent the sharpness. Right. Now what happening? This edge is looking up. So something manually you need to do because this is an organic modeling means with respect to the aesthetics and all such a skin is little overlapping over here so more overlapping is required now nails should be also little up it's a really very patiently you have to go ahead with this and this part has not been covered into your uh like spam lectures itself over there so i thought to get covered this part only into the live lecture because even there is a limitations with respect to the classes and 15 week of courses we can't able to uh like put 
access information which can be burdened to the scholars. Right. So like here, you can able to see the detailings are coming. For example, if you don't want to see the, let's delete it. Fine. So while your one finger is ready, what we can do? Let's control D for duplicate. Let's rotate it. Move it. Little scale because this is a middle finger, little bigger size. Control D for duplicate. Control D for duplicate. E for rotate. And now manually you can work with the vertices. Fine. So, such manner you can reshape all three. For thumb, you can able to create the same from a scratch, right? The same methodology. Now, what I'm doing here, for example, let's copy the thumb also, control D. But thumb is little rotated, so you need to little work separately. Face view. Let's delete it. Let's rotate it. Select the edge. Double click. From here also we can do the extrude. Fine. So now we are having all five fingers here. Now how we can enter correct here? First let's save. That is important. Already we have in a previous test. Just hand. Fine. Now, first of all, we need to merge this all as in a single model. Select one, put normal mode using one, 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 one. Let's select all. Go to mess or mess tool. Here may be some option merge or the combine here combine actually merge option coming in other application blender simultaneously sometime i am using the blender also Sydney also autodesk max also so name are changed but end of the day like i stated you earlier also concept are same so now these are a single entity earlier they all made different but now these all are a single entity now what i'm doing here dear let come to the closer view let's switch off the reference I'm selecting this edge, Q, W for move, and I'm using the extrude option, right? Extrude it, move it. Same I'm doing from here. Extrude it, move it. So how gently you can able to see you have to work here. Move it. Extrude. Move it. So now I want to connect all skin with each other. Right. Let a space bar do for a maximize view. Now go to the vertex. Maybe here would be target weld. Let's check out if coming when I'm good. As other options we can use. Merge to center options are coming. So, first, what we need to do here select this vertex, use W for move, V for vertex is snapping. So, I'm snapping the vertex. V for vertex is snapping. V for vertex is snapping. So, this skin should be interconnected with here, correct? 
same we are doing here v for vertex snapping v for vertex snapping v for vertex snapping same let's check here first center to center some problem i have done do undo this is should be here v for vertex snapping this would be go here this would be go here yeah now all vertex has been snapped now select this area use the merge option right so automatically nearby vertex is going to be merged select merge select merge select merge Now go to the object mode, hit the three button. See, now this is ready. Here there should be some stretching are coming. So what we can do? Edit mesh, insert edge loop tool. Done. So now stretch problem has been resolved. Now again, do I'm scaling here and extrude it. So no, one thing uh, we should not right now the spacing of this finger you can able to see here. Uh, thumb is little down area connecting. So this area is additional. So thumb should be connect later on, right? So here first we need to do what? Let's delete the face. Don't connect here right now. First of all, let extrude it from here. So you need to see the anatomy also. That is important. Extrude it. Right. Now from here we can extrude and connect. So hope the things you may are able to understand why I have done the undo and why I have done this one thing because shape is not properly deformed. W for move. Now again, do the vertex snapping. This will be go to the top. This will go to the center. This will come to the bottom. So now the stretchness is also less. There is merge, merge. Now select. Got it? So this is the reason why I have done this one thing. So fine, now you can extrude it. I'm just quickly now moving. I'm not now coming to the detailing part. A scale it down. R for a scale. Right. And later on you can extrude and make this hand. Right. So I'm just keeping till here only because we have to follow. Now here you can able to see this should not be like uh, up and down till here. So come to the vertex. This or depth vertex, which is down, need to be shifted up manually. Fine, so that problem has been resolved now. Okay, see how beautiful things are coming. Manually, you can do the things up. Done. Now I'm just saving. For example, now the basic concept is clear with all of you. While different kind of thing we had made using one small cylinder only. Now coming back to the texturing part. Before starting the texturing part, like lot of history you can able to see here. Whatever I have done, this is saved into the history. First of all, go to the edit and use the delete by type and use the history. What I am doing? Go to the edit option, delete by type, history. So whatever the history before this all process has been done would going to be deleted, right? See, all deleted. So why we have to done the history delete? So your file would be the light 
unnecessary nodes are coming here earlier. See here, unnecessary nodes are coming. That is also going to be delete, delete by type history. So now your file is light weighted. Fine, here we can put the name. Done. Now, for example, we will just quick recap, like we are closing to the time up. So, how the texture part can we go ahead here? So, now this is like a, we can't go ahead with a cylindrical mapping, we can't go ahead with a box mapping, but yes, it's a looking like a planar surface. One plane from top we can put, one plane from bottom we can put. So, here what I'm doing here, dear. Now, see, this is looking too much awkward. This need to be manually. Resolve. Done. So what I'm doing here, dear, for a basic idea, simply I'm selecting the model. Go to the UV. Here is the option what? Planner. Now here you can check first. Select the model. Y is the up axis. X is the side axis. G is also side axis. For planner from top, if we are willing to put, then Y axis we have to make the planner. Select the model and UV. Open the options. Now here you choose the project from the Y axis. Right. So hope you may able to understand why I have chosen the y-axis because this is the y-axis planner. Now hit the apply. Close. Okay. Before that, first of all, let's see how the UV is showing. So now post completion of this thing, what we can do there? Now we are working with the texturing part. So we can go to the UV editor. Now the UV editor is opened here. So here you can able to see how the UV is totally unmanaged. Right. Or what you can do, you can go to the panels and here you can choose the UV editor. So what now here? This is the perspective view. This is the UV view. Now I'm applying the UV planner from y-axis project. So what happened now? See, the camera projection is came from the top view. Fine. So with respect of this planner, now I'm assigning a shader. Let's save it. I'm not going because in detailing means top view we have to split, bottom view we have to split, right? But I'm going to clear your concept. So with respect to the given pre-recorded lecture, you cannot go ahead. Fine, dear. So now what I'm doing here, we have to go to the shaders. So for that, what options we have to do? Uh, we can go to the windows. We can go to the rendering editor. We can go to the hyper shade, right? Hyper shade option. So in hyper shade, all shaders we have. Let's scroll down. So manually we can open from here. For a second, what we can do? Select model, right click, assign new material. What material? Because this material having also different property. You may have recently read the go through the pre session, then you may have an idea. Lambert with non-signing material. Blinin is using for the normal uh, plastic surface and all. Fong is used for the common glass surface. We having anisotropic also in order to Maya and the blender or other application. So anisotropic we are using for the metallic surface itself over there. So no sign. So I am using the Lambert. Now the Lambert color is applied over here. Now here name I had a put it what? Palm. Find here. So here we can go to the Lambert option. And now here is the color. So we can change the color from here manually. Right, but definitely hand color would not is going to be red. Oh. We want some texture onto the model. So here you can able to see what? Checker box. So this checker box will hit here. You choose the file. And what file I'm choosing? Whatever I had used for the hand reference. Open. Right. So now it's not visible into the viewport. Right, so you can use the six. So now the texture is up, assigned to the model, but it's an irregular here. Why? Because here you can able to see UV position is different. So from this manually, we need to set the UV positions. So just giving a basic idea to you, because manually it will take time here to get it done.
just for a basic idea. CV projection should be into the proper place, then only that color of texture they will carry. So in pre-recorded lecture properly, the things have been defined and clear with all of you. So I will recommend go with a pre-recorded lecture. Just I'm giving, adjusting this thing with respect to the current quick demonstration purpose only. Fine. Now see the result here. This is the top view. For top view, we will put the different texture. This is the bottom view. So here you can already see the hand is looking like uh, all lines is also coming. The joints are also uh, coming. Nothing was actually, sir. Yes, dear. Uh, Just a please tell me. I think he is not right now. In me too. Okay, anyhow, fine. So the things are a little clear with everyone, the texturing part. So I have to believe till here only the course has been launched and available into the SWAM portal. So hope the basic concept would be now clear with everyone. Right. And uh, I will try to share actually earlier I recorded the session from starting, but that may not have been captured. But I do believe when I started working into the Autodesk Maya, that data has been captured. So I will try to share that thing. Or again, if I will get the time from scratch, I will re record and I will share. But definitely, I'm just noting down, just tell me, I have a few things I have to see here. So, Maya installation and uh, updations, fresh uh, one uh, data I will record and I will share. Maximum, I will try by tomorrow evening, it will take little time here because I'm having some other assignment today. So, tomorrow I will record. And tomorrow evening, uh, the re-recorded session on how to download the Autodesk Maya with verification would be available with all of you. And I will share the link through the announcement and that would be available to your uh, Gmail itself over there, dear. So if anyone having the more query, uh, you can uh, type into the chat box. Uh, definitely, Ashwin, uh, if you had properly went through the pre-recorded video and uh, second word assignment yeah though specifically with respect to the uh, pdf books also we have a shared pdf books are for reference purpose only if you properly went through the recorded video and assignment you done minimum 75 percent definitely you can score because objective is again you have to do the mcq right so that would be automatically calculating but pen and paper examination, if you are properly giving the explanation, things would be get it done. Again, I will suggest all of you don't go ahead with the lengthy writing process, dear. Like humanity, social science, what we're doing sometimes, or the art subject. For example, if the question is how to create a hand model, right, dear? So, in the of the day, how to create a hand model, then what you can do? First of all, and the step you can define. First of all, initial step is what? Create a Download the reference image from the internet or take the photograph of your hand. Then go to the, open the My application, go to the image plane, set the hand image into the uh, viewport. Later on, we can use the cylinder. Post cylinder, we can extrude the things, right, into the finger shape. Post finger shape, we can copy into the five parts. Later on, we can interconnect all the finger with each other, right? And we can reshape the hand with respect to the, our reference. Then if the texturing is required, then we will go to the UV mapping. We'll go to the projection technique. I don't want what kind of projection techniques, right? You can go simply write, apply the projection techniques and post projection technique. You can readjust the UV with respect to your model. So this is the complete answer for how to model the hand to the texture, right? So I don't think so for giving this answer, it will take maximum half page of a space. And end of the day, such kind of question would be having minimum five to seven marks there, minimum or more than that. Correct. So who's now having idea? No need to go ahead with a lengthy process, right? Clear and cut, define the step, and accordingly, your evaluation is also going to be executed there. Sir, you said scoring more. What should we read? Again, as I am suggesting you read uh, books, unrecommended 
can just go ahead with the pre-recorded sessions. Like today also, you can able to see uh, the entire three week of course. I try to summarize in one hour only, not even in a one hour, 30 minutes only. But definitely I started working into the Autodesk Maya since in India 2004, no one having the idea about this application. That's why I track the Autodesk Maya certifications also across the globe only. Five to six faculties having that certification and Apple uh, certifications also have a got across the world only seven to eight people have it. And neighbor, I will suggest all of you dear neighbor, leave your studies in between. That also my personal recommendation of all of you dear. Right. For example, right now you may be doing the beauty. You have a got a really, really good package. You join the company dear. But parallelly with respect to the government of India, you normally lecture you can go ahead with a distance education, right? You completed master degree in distance education, minimum. If you're willing to go into the teaching job, then apply for the PhD, later on postdoctoral fellowship and follow on, right? But end of the day, if industry also you are working, at least you complete till your master degree. That will really help you for further. Such kind of things, sometimes guidance we don't have, maybe the parent not from that kind of background, but you should never leave your study back. Maybe with respect to new education policy, which is known as the National Education Policy 2022, NEP 2022, oh, sorry, 2020 itself over there, where if you uh, like dropped your course in three years also, not completed four years, you may having the diploma or the certificate for three years. Later on, after five years, you can rejoin your course into the different university or different college also. That three year certificate you can enclose, I passed till three years. And only within to do the fourth year, right here. So only one year you have to invest and your degree is ready for you. So these are the, some of the really, very good initiative taken by government of India, right? Which is implemented already after 200 plus university and colleges itself over there, right? So trying to utilize that kind of thing and never leave your study in between. That always I am recommending with all my fellow learners, right? So hope the things is clear with you. Where do you find Rishi? Uh, like I had suggested, I will share the PDF book uh, link copy again with you. Whoever joined earlier, they may having all the links. For you only Maya, uh, because already Binkal, if I'm not wrong, you joined earlier, but you may miss that time. Because Maya is the industry standard. If you are watching the movie, Avatar, Transformer, Terminator, Harry Potter series, Avengers series, all animation has done into the Maya only. So Maya is the industry standards application. And we are expecting at least learning. So why not learning into the industry standard only? Definitely you will receive the things into the email only uh, via announcement. I will send the thing. So all will receive the email where the PDF books are available here, right? So exam is computer based and pen paper already. Ashwin, I have a shared earlier also. Exam would be the uh, pen and paper plus MCQ also. 20 question MCQ. 80% marks on the pen and paper, right? But for both, you have to go to the proctored examination center and accordingly, you have to uh, give the examination there only. They will give you the paper. You have to carry your pen, right? I don't think so. Examination center will provide the pen. Paper, but definitely they will provide. So those you can check uh, to the SWAM portal where you may able to see the discussion one word. So in discussion group, you can able to join the discussion form. Uh, sir, we have to... Sir, yes, Anus. Sir, we have to do in exam practical also. We have to draw something. No, dear, no, dear, no, dear. In exam, for example, like I stated no, right now, yes, the sir. question may be how to create a hand uh, in 3D, right? So that yes. step has to be defined. So that yeah. manner you will write the step, right? Yes, in this case. So that is not ideal. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Because definitely in examination center, that kind of PC would not be available. Sometime on web browsing, that PC is hanged. If you have a given the uh, NT examination earlier. So we can't go ahead with that kind of thing. And it's a time taken process. So evaluation on your step written into the paper only. That is enough to understand. And parallelly, you're having the parallel assignments also. So tomorrow evening, you are getting the assignment links also. In a Google form, you have to uh, create the, maybe this can be one assignment, create a hand model, but definitely uh, organic based assignment, there would be nothing always like inorganic. Maybe the product modeling can be the assignment, right? Maybe such kind of assignment can be over there. And always I try to go ahead with the open ended assignment, not mandate you have to create a cell phone or mobile only. You have to create any product, what kind of assignment you have to do with respect to your choice, right, dear? And finally, you have to texture and upload the Maya file and the print screen. For example, now this is the final file. Na? So you can hit the print screen from your keyboard. An entire screen can be like scrolled and printed. 
and open the paint or if you know photoshop it's a much better drop it here now use the text name abcd your college name or university name sorry uh, i have done enter Miss all the detail you have to type name and college university only increase the font size right now here you can able to see the detail are mentioned here you can save the file save as jpeg and now this print is script with after the smile file whatever you have created like now how you can save the file maya this model is ready file save scene or save scene as hand underscore zero one now check where it's a saving this is the location control c save as now i'm opening that location so this is a test hand control c window e so now i pasted here so now this file and this test file you can do the zip or you can directly select and upload over there also fine or you can go to the right click compress to zip in zip you can put your name name underscore your college name university name so this and you can upload into the google drive fine right. here you can mention one more thing for example this is assignment one then a double s i g n m e n t underscore zero zero one underscore so this format you can follow here and finally upload this one so in this manner assignment one to ten totally i do believe nine to ten assignment would be over there for entire 15 week of course and tomorrow evening only you will receive the entire assignment list at once deadline of submission of all assignments there is no in between deadline here i'm expecting because some may have joined late so i can't expect the things within two days can be completed so for example again going to the swam uh, website come to the swam and i'm opening the all courses for example course in date is what that is april year right so entire assignment should be with you within 30 april plus 15 days time right because maybe some assignment could be related to the course which may share with you on 28 april right so how in a day we can expect the result so end date plus 15 days of time so 30 april is here so 15 may would be the final deadline of submission of entire 10 assignment 1 to 10 year right which you can upload via the google form right so either you can complete earlier or later it's up to you right but the final deadline is 15th of may till that you have to complete everything properly right and you have in the iterations option also and this all information what i'm stating right now this would be available via the announcement and you will receive the information in google form sorry google form as well as the uh, gmail via email also uh dear we can you can save into the maya binary format also no problem maya sky is not mandatory ma because right now maya binary is uh, like supported with all the other applications also uh, Jagannath, like I have stated you earlier, dear, minimum, you should be having Core i3 with 8 GB RAM or 4 GB RAM. Then only application may good work. Or it's a recommended Core i5 with 8 GB of RAM. It's a recommended Core i5 with 8 GB RAM. You will not face any kind of problem here. Sir, excuse me. Yes, Anuj. Sir, which software is best? And uh, uh, if someone has a lower version of a laptop, so which software we can download? Same, same uh, software you can download there. You can when you're downloading there at that time there is a version. So okay. 2024, 2023. So what lower you are getting? 
that you can download here. Yes, and sir, the Blender is also same software is used for this only. See, uh, yeah. End of the day, uh, like same thing here. I am parallelly using all. Even the Blender would be also here. Blender. See, for example, you are using one phone, Samsung, correct? Second yes. phone is the Oppo, Vivo, all are the phones, correct, dear? But end of the day, applications are also like the same. Uses and the feature can be different, right? So in Blender also, you can have the same feature. Like here, we can go to the modeling. Here, we can add the cylinders, right? Or the plane itself over there. Here also, we have a cylinder, move tool. We can extract the all funda are little correlated, but the working style are changed, right? Yeah. So Blender is again for the small industry who are the startup right now. But even for the big budget movie, they are not preferring the Blender because still Blender having the lot of bugs, right? Maybe after five years to ten years, industry can be swapped. But simple thing, dear. For example, uh, Autodesk Maya, Autodesk Group is a complete Maya, Max, AutoCAD. They are. Uh, the entitled for all the rights for these all application. So, for example, if Blender will upgrade, so definitely for the industry standard, Maya will also upgrade themselves. So, definitely, end of the day, for industry requirement, Maya would be available for next 20, 25 years as an industry pipeline. If there would be no any drastic change happen, like right now it's a time of uh, AI itself over there, NLP itself over there, generative adversarial network itself over there. So, a lot of things happening automatically. So, people are thinking. Uh, chat gpt will take our job that kind of a statement also i'm getting so coders job will go no dear end of the day chat gpt you should learn you should integrate with the technology like i can share one of the example at that time even i not born i born in a 1988 so i think 1980 only there was the one biggest strike happened into the united states and united kingdom with respect to the calculator launch they have launched the calculator so all the mathematicians has a protest onto the road Calculator has been lost, uh, launched, so our job gone. But they learned how calculator can be the efficiently utilized. And a finally, end of the day, result is what? It's a 2024, is still calculator in our use here. So now scientific calculator is also there. So same manner, we should learn the new technology. We should upgrade with respect to the technology. If we are not upgrading the technology, then we are a failure. That is the thing. So never fear with the technology right now. So hope the things are clear with you. Well, Repeat the part of the system. Okay, dear. Yeah. So, uh, actually, like I had stated earlier, also, dear, we having a two part of examination 20 MCQ question, which into the examination room you have to attempt on a screen, right? You have to tick and submit 20 questions. You will also receive the paper, also, right? Like a regular examination, you are receiving the paper, same computer desk where you're sitting, there only you will receive the answer booklet. Where you have to write the answers, question would be available on your screen. Answer you have to write into the booklet. And end of the things, you have to submit 20 questions online on computer desktop. And the answers with what you have written, you have to submit to the invigilator. Right. So hope the things is clear with everyone. Because again, we are into the start how to download my software. So I will reshare the link. Don't worry. Right. So hope the things are clear. How many questions are answer book? Totally, dear, it's a 37 question. Out of 37, 20 is the MCQ, so 17 rest. So 17 out of 17, 10 is the five marks question, dear. So that 10 is mandatory. And rest 7 is the 7 mark question, I think, if I'm not wrong. But out of 7, 5 is mandatory, 2 are extra. So totally 37 question, including 20 MCQ, 10 short answer. Seven long answer. In long answer, you have to uh, submit five only, not seven. So hope the things are clear here. Examination pattern. Fine. So Kanishka Kumari, the registration information you will receive into the course portal here. Don't worry. Also, you will receive the email information for the same. Fine. So I do believe all you may handle. <laughs> and thank you everyone to patiently listening. And hope your basic concept is now clear and more effectively you all can be performed good into your classroom. Right. So thanks again to everyone. Have a good day. And in advance, wish you a happy Basant Panchmi for tomorrow itself over there. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.